you want to be angel? What are you? Yes. Second song. Um, what are we saying? Yep. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah, sure. I don't know. Thank you for Welcome back to the Gopher Cast. I'm Kelly. I'm taking in for Brett's spot. He's on vacation this week, somewhere down south in the warm. <laughs> Start over. <laughs> In the warm. Wait, I, I'm Dan. This is the second installment of the GopherCast. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for all the viewers last week. Uh, we got a special show ready for you this week. So uh, let's get it started. Kelly? Alright. Well, we'll start with some sports. Uh, men's basketball this past week. They uh, On Saturday, they won against St. Peter's, 69-47, to where Ralph Sampson had a high of 15 points for the team. Um, the Gophers improved to 10-1 overall, and they are undefeated at home. Women's basketball also had a win today against Elkhorn State, which, do you know where Elkhorn State is? No. I think so. Um, they won 75 to 46, and also on uh, Saturday they played against Harvard and won 79 to 53, and they won their Best Buy uh, Classic. Women's volleyball had an excellent season this year, and it ended this weekend when they ran into Iowa State in the Sweet 16 match in the Sports Pavilion. They lost in four sets, but finished the season with a 20 and 12 record. Uh, things are looking great for next year. Uh, wrestling, they had a 34-6 victory over Iowa State and improved to 4-2 and two overall. And let's uh, move on to a little bit of U of M news real quick. Uh, U of M Board of Regents meeting this past week just approved a new dormitory that's going to be built on 4th Street, right where that big open block is next across the street from Keeler. They're going to put a new dormitory in there with special housing for Greek sorority men and fraternity women, and uh, two chapter meetings. Look for that to be finished in fall of 2013. Uh, now we're going to move on to men's and women's hockey, uh, and for that we have two very special guests for you all. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Nick Bukestead and Zach Brutish from the Minnesota Men's Hockey Team. Here, here. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. So, gentlemen, tell us about this weekend. Uh, Friday night, play like crap. Um, I don't know. Big turnover by the, uh, me on Friday night, cost us a game, and then Saturday we came back and uh, got a W, and uh, now we got a little nice little break now. Excellent, yeah. excellent. So uh, what did Lucia have to say in the locker room after Friday night's game? He wasn't happy, I'll tell you that probably, much. Probably don't want to repeat what he yeah. said. Yeah, really? okay. yeah, it wasn't right. good. So. All right, you guys came out flying, though, winning 6-2 on Saturday. Tell us about that. You guys have a little, uh, a little anger in that, or... Uh, How'd that work out? Yeah, we were pretty sour from the night before, so I don't know. Yeah, at the end of the game, it got a little chippy. Even Coach Lucia was getting into it, so that, that was kind of funny. Definitely, definitely. Uh, women's hockey, number two in the nation, also had a big weekend slept, swept Ohio State on Saturday and Sunday. So uh, keep in mind, we also got number two men's hockey in-house right here as well. Kelly? All right, so a couple questions for you guys. Zach, um, I know you were out last year with your knee injury because of the moped incident that we all yeah. heard of. Uh, do you ride mopeds now? No, nope, we drive my car and walk around now, so <laughs> done with the moped, I sold it actually. Oh, did you? So, yep. Alright, so kind of a fear with them still? I just, no, I yeah, just prefer not to ride Dad it. Dad wouldn't let him ride it. <laughs> Alright, well that's understandable. And uh, Nick, we hear you like to uh, fish and hunt? Yeah, I don't know, kind of, that's what my dad <laughs> does, so I, I was kind of growing up with it. I haven't gotten out this, this winter though, unfortunately, so I like to fish a lot this summer. Excellent, excellent. You guys have a, how many days until your next game? Uh, not until the third, we play again December 30th. So December 30th. Two and a half, two and a half weeks. Right. Uh, what do you guys got planned those next two and a half weeks? Uh, I'm going to watch Bukestead in the World Junior Tournament, so uh, I'll be relaxing on my couch and uh, watching him on TV, so him and Rod, actually both my Rods yeah. will be at the tournament, so I'll be hanging out at home watching. Excellent. Zach, do you have anything to say about why you're not in the tournament and both of your linemates are? Uh, too old, man. I probably made it anyways. Okay. It would have been our last year for me to be old for that. So, oh. uh, sure. <laughs> yep. So you guys get to go home for Christmas? Yep. Uh, we get pretty much this coming week off and the following week off. So we uh, start practicing on the 26th. So. Anything special you're looking for for Christmas or what you're getting each other? Anything like that? I'm trying to get this guy some hip hop dancing uh, <laughs> lessons. He lacks in that category, so. Can you show us some? Yeah. I don't have any dance moves. I think. Uh, Nick, you you uh, you speaking from experience with your hip hop dance skills? I mean, yeah, I, I've been known to break down on the dance floor. Uh, you have any speakers in house here? Me. <laughs> no. uh, definitely not gonna back him up. Oh. Uh, what would I get, Bukes? Um 
probably a toothbrush. Yeah, well. I don't know. <laughs> no, I just kidding. I'm just kidding. Yeah. I would uh, get him uh, a new iPod because he listens to the same music over Afro Man over and over. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. Know, yeah. Yeah. Uh, they don't let me touch the, the stereo the stereo in the locker room anymore. So. What, what goes on usually pretty damn in the locker room? Everyone's dying to know. Uh, before the game, it's pretty quiet. I mean, we have music, but guys kind of do their own thing. Taper sticks, eat a bagel, go out, uh, play soccer in the concourse, and just kind of do your own thing. You know, kind of, kind of do excellent, excellent. Kelly? Uh-huh. Final start this Friday, <laughs> the 16th. Uh, classes end on Wednesday, meaning Thursday is a study day. So uh, people look to get your studying done, and uh, uh, going with weather, uh, it's going to be about mid-20s and 30s the rest of this week. Uh, maybe a little bit of snow on Thursday. Keep your eyes peeled for that. All right. As for uh, NFL news, the Vikings had another L today, but that's okay because the Packers won. So they are now 12 and All right. Minnesota Wild actually has won five of the last six. Uh, number one in the conference right now with an overall record of 20 and 7. Uh, how, uh, speaking of which, how's Letty doing? You guys talked to him lately? Uh, I talked to him about two weeks ago. They're actually coming to play, uh, Blackhawks are coming to town on Wednesday, so I'm going to go to the game. Excellent, excellent. Uh, any other news you, uh, think uh, needs to be covered this week? Audience members? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Mr. Carver, uh, you in the back? Buke said, how about the foreign oil crisis? What are your thoughts? What do you got going? The foreign oil crisis? Oh, yeah, I got nothing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what's that? <coughs> All right, uh, I believe that wraps it up for this week's GopherCast. Uh, look for us this week on Twitter. You can follow us at thegophercast at twitter.com. Uh, and then feel free to email us any topics or if you see breaking news happening at thegophercast at gmail.com. Other than that, good luck on your finals, and we'll see you next week. We don't know where we're going to be filming or who we're going to be interviewing. But we're looking forward to it. Have a good one, ladies and gentlemen. Thank Support you. our troops. Go America. Go Gophers. Thanks a lot to Nick Buse and Zach Woods for joining us.